Courage is perseverance. Just hold on to living, hold on to life, hold on to happiness. Persevere in spite of everything, in like the midst of awful storms. I think that takes a ton of courage. I was 13 years old when I was first diagnosed. It was acute myelogic leukemia, that's how I remember it. So it was aggressive, it was a lot of chemo and like for long periods of time. And so I couldn't like go home and recover, I had to recover in the hospital. So I was in the hospital all the time. The treatment lasted about six months uh, before I was in remission and able to live life again. <laughs> Remission was awesome because high school was great. I did all the school stuff, got scholarships galore, and got into my first choice, Colorado College. I did my first year at Colorado College, and then that's when I found out I relapsed was the summer after my freshman year. I was re-diagnosed. I was mad. So that was the emotion that I felt. I was just like, I did this once before, like this should be done. So that was really hard, just being so sick and just fighting, just literally just fighting for my life. My mother is amazing. She really was my support system. I remember being in the hospital and not wanting to do the bone marrow transplant. So I went to the gift shop and got my mom a little card that said thank you. And so I wrote like a little note that was like, thank you for supporting me and being here, but I don't want to do the bone marrow transplant. That didn't last or work at all because my mom was like, uh, psych, you are. Dancing definitely was a saving grace for me. Belly dance was something I could actually hold on to during treatment because it's a lot of isolation. I would practice rolling my stomach or like doing shimmies or something just to like keep my spirits up. Children's been like a huge part of my life since I was 13. The people at Children's remember me, know me. Everyone is just kind, sweet, nice, just amazing. My dream has always been to be a dancer, and I'm a dancer, so that's just mind-blowing. I teach a dance class here at my wonderful studio. I perform with the company out of the studio every month, and I'm just living. Like, I'm just so happy to be alive and dancing and doing things that make me so happy. I am moving to New York in September. I am really, really excited to go to Sarah Lawrence and study dance movement therapy, just trying to help people feel better. Like dance did such an amazing thing for me, like through my treatment, that I would love to be able to do that for other people. So all of those things are just like rapidly coming and it's amazing and I love it. <laughs>